Welcome. My name is Chris Hoffman. And I am the proud superintendent of the Elk Grove Unified School District. It is my pleasure to introduce the Board of Trustees of the Elk Grove Unified School District. Board President, Beth Albiani. Board Clerk, Dr. Crystal Martinez Alir. Board Members, Nancy Chires Espinoza. Carmine Forcina. Chet Madison Sr. Anthony Perez and Bobby Singh Allen. Less than three short months ago, life as we knew it dramatically changed. It was finals week. You were getting ready for the fourth quarter and looking forward to proms, playoff games, competitions, stage performances, spring break vacations, and of course, graduation. Overnight, literally overnight, one of the largest pandemics in our history hit our community and all plans were off. We woke up to a new way of life and a new way of learning. And as I said then and continue to say, there is nothing more important to me than the health and safety of each and every one of you, our students, our staff, and our families. Please know that you've been on my mind every day since we closed schools. Although you were at home, I watched you transition gracefully to distance learning, adjust quickly to a new way of doing things, and step up willingly to help your teachers, your siblings, and your parents. In my heart, and knowing how important graduation is to you, I've wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your, thank you for heating the shelter in place. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for your resilience and understanding. Class of 2020, you will always be remembered as one of the most amazing groups of students who literally witnessed a global pandemic. And we're not out of the woods yet, but there is no one I'd rather walk forward with into an uncertain future than the class of 2020. You are creative problem solvers. You are most definitely technology literate. You've engaged the community. You are self-aware, self-disciplined, and self-reliant. You clearly communicate and collaborate. And last but not least, you've shown immense integrity. Sometimes we must make changes before we know what to do next. That's part of life. The skills and characteristics you possess will allow you to do so when your turn comes. You have what it takes to analyze the situation, pivot, and find solutions that work in the best interest of others. Those are the traits of an Elk Grove Unified graduate, and together with the board, we believe firmly that you are ready. You are ready for college, career, and life, even in these unprecedented times. I wish you all the best. I still hope to see you this summer and to congratulate you in person. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming Hoods, broad stripes, and bright stars Through the perilous fire O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming That our flag 
was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner Thank you, Latia Ezra, for that wonderful rendition of the National Anthem. Greetings, Calvine High School students, parents, family members, and members of the district and school board. On behalf of the entire Calvine High School staff, it is an honor to be here today to mark this special occasion. We would have enjoyed an in-person celebration. However, we are so proud of your accomplishments that we are not going to allow this adjustment to cast a shadow over our joy and excitement. Class of 2020, many of you came to Calvine seeking a fresh start, and you took advantage of this opportunity to rewrite your story. You worked hard, maintained your focus, and you accomplished your goals. I hope your experience at Calvine High School has taught you that your circumstances do not define who you are. Graduates, you have demonstrated the ability to change your story. Remember this moment and go forward to accomplish great things. However, before you depart, I have a few words of wisdom. First, goals provide a vision for your life. You were able to rewrite your story because you maintained the goal to complete your high school education. Take this lesson with you. Do not undervalue this accomplishment because during the challenging times in your life, your vision will serve as a guide for what you can and will achieve. Second, goals are important, but they require dedication and hard work. There are few guarantees in life, but most accomplishments require resilience, and you must work hard. Please remember that there is pride in accomplishing the impossible, and I hope you will continue to greet future challenges with the same grit and determination. Finally, always express gratitude to those who have contributed to your story. In life, none of us are on this journey alone. There are people guiding us along the way, whether it was your family, a dedicated friend, or a member of the Calvine staff. Always take time to express your gratitude to those who have made a positive difference in your world. And remember, the best form of gratitude is to pay it forward by supporting others. Whenever possible, live a life of service. And speaking of gratitude, on behalf of the Calvine staff, we thank our graduates for their contribution to Calvine High School. We also thank the many parents, guardians, mentors, and countless others who have partnered with us. It is with your support that our graduates are able to transition to their young adult lives with the education they need to begin their new adventure. Calvin High School graduates, today I commend you for a job well done. I acknowledge that for now, this is not the graduation that you had in mind, but nothing, nothing, can dull your shine. I look forward to hearing about your incredible accomplishments in the future. So class of 2020, Calvine High School, we wish you all the best. We are so proud of you and congratulations. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of your story. Good morning. I am Michael Court, Vice Principal of Calvine High School. And I would like to welcome all of you to Calvine High School's 2020 graduation ceremony. The ceremony has changed from previous years, but the purpose has not. This ceremony honors the graduates and their hard work and dedication. In my 16 previous years at Calvine, this is the portion of the ceremony where I remind the audience and the students to put their phones on silent and please take their seats. I would also remind guests not to cheer their students so loudly that another student's name is drowned out. Well, not this year. You can stand in the aisle, you can let your phone ring, and you can cheer as much as you want. Students, I used to speak to each of you individually before you walked into the spotlight, introduced to the world as a high school graduate. Since that will not happen this year, I will speak to you the words that, as a group that I would have said to you individually. 
You earned this. You earned all the praise you are receiving and all the pride you are feeling. You earned this. And now, let us begin our ceremony. At this time, I would like to introduce our first student speaker, Terrence Brandon. Terrence represented Calvine High School before our school board. He was part of our senior dinner planning committee. He was an integral part of the school-wide recycling program. He served as our student representative for monthly PBIS meetings. His future goal is to attend college, get an apprenticeship, and begin a career as an electrician. Hi, I'm Terrence, and I've been going to Calvin High School for the last year. During my time at my previous high school, I had a hard time adapting to the curriculum. And so I would like to tell you about my experience as a student at Calvine High School. I feel that being at Calvine has truly made a positive impact on my academics. And I felt that my teachers and staff at Calvine are really making effort to guide and help me with my schoolwork. They pushed me to go beyond the bare minimum and by Calvine being a small school, it feels more like a community and you can talk with the teachers almost about anything. All the teachers are great at giving real world advice and teaching you about the different types of career options and jobs that are out there and not just pushing you towards college. With that being said, my plan for after high school is to go into an electrician apprenticeship to become an inside wireman. And my hopes for the future of class of 2020 is that everyone is prosperous and that they can achieve their goals in life, whatever they may be. And I know that due to the circumstances of COVID-19, this may not have been the graduation that we were all expecting to have, but I think it's just as good because it's still our graduation. And we all have worked hard throughout our lives to achieve this very moment. And I would like to thank my family and friends for being with me throughout this journey and always giving me support throughout high school. And on that note, I would like to leave off with saying congratulations class of 2020, we did it. I would now like to introduce our student speaker, Eliciano Franklin. Luciano states that he could not pick a favorite class because he had so much fun in every class. He would like to thank his brother, Elias, his parents, and grandparents. Luciano plans to graduate from college, then become a successful business owner. Hello. I would like to start by saying thank you to all parents, friends, teachers, and graduates for being here today. It truly means a lot. My name is Eliciano Franklin, and I'm very thankful to have this opportunity. I think the majority of graduates here, along with myself, have had a unique high school journey. When I first started at Calvin High School, I did not know what to expect. I heard a lot of negative things about the school. The students were bad, the teachers were bad, and how you were not a good student if you went there. After just a few days, I realized that none of this was true. I was shocked at how wrong all these stereotypes were. In fact, the opposite. The students were good, the teachers were amazing, and I performed the best I ever had academically. I was surprised at how different it was compared to my previous high school experiences. There are people from many different high schools, classes were now filled with funny students and teachers. Lastly, how you can never be on your phone walking from class to class. I learned so much at Calvin High School, like how to read, how to write, and how to make a mask out of clay. Some of my favorite memories were all the off-topic conversations we had in Mary Beth's class, and the outrageous questions some students would follow up with that made everyone laugh. I'll never forget the endless amount of times Deirdre had to tell her class to be quiet. Another good memory was the first Calvin High School football game. Actually, that one didn't happen. This process has been long and difficult for all of us, but we're here now. We should be proud of ourselves for making it to this milestone, for not everyone does. This class of 2020 has accomplished many things, like being the first class to graduate and not walk the stage. 
So please do not sell yourself short in the future. Everyone you can be whatever you want, go wherever you want, and achieve anything you want. When things get hard, I want you all to remember, no obstacle is too great, it is never too late, and it won't happen if you wait. So let's go and make our dreams happen. Anyway, to wrap things up, I'd like to thank all the staff and teachers you have helped change our lives tremendously. This is the end of a chapter in our lives, so let's do our best to make the next one great. And congratulations, class of 2020. I would now like to introduce our student speaker, Geneva Scruggs. Geneva helped plan the senior dinner during her, both her junior and senior years. She was a teacher's assistant for both James Yoakum and Deb McGregor. And Geneva is always willing to help another student. Hello, class of 2020. It's been quite the journey getting here today, and I couldn't be more happy that we all made it together. I know it feels like we're apart, and that's natural since this is nothing like a normal ceremony. I feel, however, that we're not a normal class. We are a group of individuals who have faced so many different challenges in life that our education was in peril. I personally missed so much school that I thought I would never be able to earn a diploma. I quit all my extracurriculars and I stopped socializing. I never even hoped to go to college because I felt I would just be wasting my time. I didn't think I was smart enough or that I'd ever be able to catch up. Before Calvine, my grades were terrible and my family and me knew that something had to change. Now I've gained so many friends and mentors as well as an education to help me in whatever I decide to be. Now I'm getting ready to go to college with my best friend, something that I couldn't have imagined beforehand. I know many of the students from this class have a similar story. Other schools, our environments, illnesses, things all out of our control that threatened to stop our progress were all considered and we were able to work around them together. I'll forever be grateful that I was able to come here and receive the assistance that I needed. Without the staff dedicating their time to improving all of us, I'm not sure where we'd be. But I do know that we all came out of this as better friends and better people. I can't wait to see what you all become. And I hope I can make my classmates, teachers, and Calvine family proud with what I become. Thank you. At this time, it is my honor to name the students who are recipients of the Teal Cougar Award for demonstrating exceptional citizenship, excellent attendance, and academic achievement by earning 20 credits or more during each quarter and community service. The three students receiving the Teal Cougar Award are Terrence Brandon, Eliciano Franklin, and Geneva Scruggs. In addition to our Teal Cougar recipients, I am proud to acknowledge the recipients of our Silver Cougar Award who have demonstrated excellent citizenship, academic achievement, and make Calvine High School a better place. Micah Banks, Shalom Baptel, Javier Cortez, Latia Acera, Michael Joslin, Dylan Parker, and Aaron Tao. Hello, I'm Lisa Flores, school counselor for Calvine High School. I have the honor of recognizing Calvine High School's outstanding EL student, Aaron Tao. Aaron has been at Calvine for a year and a half, and for two straight semesters, he has had perfect attendance, which translated into excellent grades and 20 plus credits each quarter. In addition, Aaron is considerate to his peers and always ready to help. I also have the honor of introducing this year's Elk Grove Regional Scholarship recipient. Her name is Mariah Torres, and she received the William Lugg Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Mariah, and congratulations, Erin. Please welcome to the stage board president, Ms. Beth Albiani. Hi, my name is Beth Albiani. 
as the president of the board of the Elk Grove Unified School District and by the authority vested in me by the state of California, I hereby authorize the issuance of diplomas of graduation to the students of Calvine High School's class of 2020. Congratulations, we are very proud of you. Isaiah Adame Ishtiak Ali Ruman Ali Alejandro Alonso Julian Alvarez Azel Asi Sierra Ayala Micah Banks Shalom Bapatel Carlos Barajas Naftali Chael Rose Benson Leanna Berryman Tamar Blackman Terrence Brandon Randy Brewster Terrence Brooks Davion Brown Derogia Brown Raymond Castro Javen Chu Juan Cobarubius Elizabeth Cochran Najan Cooper Elizabeth Coronado Tyler Cresselius Nicholas Davy Joshua Decker Jeremiah Dexter Alum Deshade Eagle Letia Esera Charlie Esquivel Myliana Fernandez Eliciano Franklin Mina Fry Simon Gachunga Jonathan Garcia Raul Garcia Benitez Jose Gaitan Tara Gaitan Francisco Gonzalez Tatiana Gonzalez Maria Gonzalez Mendez Kamori Goodwin Amir Gray Anthony Gutig 
Kevin Hung. Zachary Hargis. Davion Harris. Augustin Hernandez. Jose Hernandez. Leonardo Hernandez. Ramona Herrera. Amosia Hill. Evan Hurley. Walter Jackson. Lola Hebus. Michael Joslin. Fatima Kamau. Gersimran Kong. Kiona King. Elijah Lattimore. Tori Lawrence. Joshua Lee. Josel Lopez. Julian Lopez de Haro. Johnny Lohr. Meng Lohr. Ayana Madden. Jessica Marquez Mann. Daisy Miranda. Casey Monroe. Aiden Morris. Gabriel Munoz. Jabari Murphy. Joaquin Murphy. Andy Nguyen. Joseph Nguyen. Nat Tommy Wen. Heather Leah Paclabar. Kahalen Paget. Abraham Palazuelos Mora. Dylan Parker. Joel Pitts. Niki Prasad. Angel Ramirez. Randy Rabe. Jennifer Razo. Christopher Reyes. Caleb Reyna. Jenna Rodriguez. Julian Rodriguez. Marissa Rodriguez. Joseph Roman. Delia Romero Cervantes. John Sabio. 
Julian Sabir Jairet J. Seifong Kaylee Satern Candice Satern Jack Sayang Alexander Schlegel Geneva Scruggs Braden Selberg Calvin Singh Peyton Smith Tyshawn Smith Matthew Smothers Aaron Spruill Amari Struther Aaron Tao Logan Thompson Jesus Torres Mariah Torres Kayla Tran Clarice Tyson Anthony Vang Isaiah Vasquez Jasmine Mong T. Vo Tyne Warren Roman Washington Peyton Watson Aaliyah White Daniel Williams Robert Williams Tyzel Williams Vincent Williams Valerie Shong Bell Yang Angel Young Jamila Young Thomas Tyree Young Graduates, please move your tassel from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my extreme pleasure to present to you the graduating class of Calvine High School 2020. Thank you and congratulations.